Well, the California recall election is over, and uh, Judgment Day is upon those living on the West Coast currently. Larry Elder lost his battle with cancer, the cancer that is the voter constituency and the legislator of the so-called great state of California. I stayed up till about 2 o'clock in the morning checking the live updates, and they, they tallied up those votes pretty damn quick. It was, uh, by all accounts, a blowout. Uh, Gavin Newsom still remains governor, and uh, well, the voter base in California has proven that there is no point, no point, where things could get so bad that they would be willing to try and save themselves, even if that meant going against their own party. Right? That, that, that's what this recall election was. Don't get me wrong. I, I was really, really hopeful. I, I was really praying. I, I really wanted Larry Elder to be the guy that got in. All right? I mean, yeah, he would have been going over against, you know, an entirely blue state for all intents and purposes. There wouldn't have been a lot that he could have done legislation-wise as governor with those kind of roadblocks in place. But it would have been an opportunity for him to maybe at least change some people's minds, maybe swing things around a little bit, maybe start something new, start a movement in California. That's why this recall election was so important. It was a test. It was a test to see if California could be saved, if there was any hope left of coming back, of them coming back. And we know the answer to that test now. The answer is no. The answer is no. Okay, this is not, California today is not the California that it was, in, was it like 2001, right, when they had their recall election and Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, a Republican, came in. All right, America isn't the same as it was in 2001, 2002. All right, California showed in this recall election that the majority of the voters are more than intent, just keep it on to keep on, right? If not Gavin Newsom, then no one, okay? What do I mean by that? Gavin Newsom, there is no level of bad that could possibly be reached to convince these people to break out of their apathy or their ignorance, okay? Nothing. All right, if not being forced to stay in your homes, if when the governor and his family is out doing whatever they want, if not being forced to mask your kids, even when his kids aren't wearing masks, if not when your business is permanently shut down, even when his business is open, if not when half the state is on fire half of the year because he's not maintaining the forest, right? If not the homeless people that he's essentially shipping in with his legislation, if not with the skyrocketing crime rates, if not with the gas prices, if not with inflation, if not with unemployment, if not with every terrible thing under the sun that has happened in California in like the last year and a half alone, then there will never be a level of badness that could convince these people in California to jump ship, politically speaking. Nothing. They are resigned to remain on the course that they are on, period. All right? California is going the way of Detroit. It's go it, it just is. All right? It, it's a lost cause at that point. And I'm not a pessimist. I'm not a pessimist. I like to consider myself an optimist. All right? But we, we you know, conservatives, hell, even in, independents and even Democrats, you know, who are sick and damn tired of what's going on in the country and, and what's going on in California in particular. You have to focus your efforts where they're most useful. They're not useful in California. You get what you vote for. And I have real sympathy for the good people in California, right? There is at least, you know, two, maybe three million people who voted to recall Gavin Newsom, who, who wanted a real change, who wanted things to turn around. But that's just not a reality. It, it, it's not a reality. And, and to them, I... I implore them to pack up, to head east, to move to the, to move to the states where there's some real opportunities and some real freedoms. Maybe flip some purple states red. That would be ideal. I think that would be the, the best thing that you could do with your efforts and your times. Um, so it is a disappointing day indeed. And uh, well, California, Godspeed, that's all I can say. No, I, I did want to read some of the, the top comments in the comments section on Fox as they were updating the, uh, the election results, just to, just to see what, where people's minds were at 2 o'clock in the morning as these things were coming in. Uh, one of the top comments, 
If Cali wants to be the mecca for the homeless, the home of the filthy, the safe harbor for the ruling elite who command all Californians to do as I say, not as I do, the poorly educated, watch this show its ugly head in the years to come, the home of the highest percentage of COVID patients in the country, the land where poverty hovers over the largest percentage of its citizenry in the nation, the land with the highest tax brackets in America and growing, the state where housing is unaffordable for the majority of the people, where thousands of acres burn every year, due to poor state forestry management, then let them keep their king for those who have brain cells and want to save their families from this eventual demise, which will happen, and then pack your bags and move east. It's pretty solid. Another top comment. Today I chastised my mother-in-law for voting Democrat. I then turned around and left the cemetery. Fair enough. Uh, top comment from a leftist. Thank goodness California is still the top grossing state of the nation by a large margin, and we don't have folks like you, referring to conservatives, like you bringing down our per capita GDP. You know, and that was like the most consistent leftist comment of support for California and Newsom that I saw on the comments section. I must have gone through like hundreds and hundreds of these, these comments, you know, just, just for kicks. And, and that, was, that was the thing. Oh, our economy is sixth in the world. Blah, 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 blah. Our GDP is so good. I don't understand. I don't understand that argument. I, I don't. Does does the G, just does the GDP like bring you comfort? Um, you know, when you're like driving to work and have to fill up your gas tank with six dollar a gallon gas. Does does the GDP bring you comfort when you're at your job where you like barely make enough to cover your portion of rent for a two bedroom apartment that you're living at with seven other roommates? <laughs> right. Does, does the GDP bring you comfort when your best friend gets robbed because of the skyrocketing crime rates? Or when you're accosted by no less than uh, like a dozen homeless people just walking a couple of blocks because homelessness is so up. Or when you look out the window and you see smoke on the horizon because guess what? California's on fire again because of poor forestry management because they don't clean up any of the debris on the forest floor. I mean, what the hell kind of argument is that? Our GDP is so good that we should just like turn a blind eye to all of this awful stuff that's happening? Are you out of your damn mind? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. The majority of Californians are out of their damn mind. I, I ne and on a personal level, I don't really care what happens in California. I never, I never saw the appeal in living there in the first place. You know, with, with the cost of living, at least in my lifetime, has always been astronomical, right? The, the crime rates and, and education and stuff has always been rather piss poor again, at least in my, my lifetime. And, you know, the biggest argument I, I heard for moving there, oh, you get the beaches and the mountains. It's like, I'm an East Coaster. We have plenty of beaches over here. I, I, I grew up in New Hampshire. You could throw a stick in any direction and hit 10 different mountains. All right. I, I'm still scrubbing nature out of my ass and I left there a year and a half ago. All right. So I, I, yeah, I just don't see the arguments for living in California in general. As such, I don't really give a crap what happens on the state level. I do care about what happens on the national level, mainly their, their national representation that they get, right? Right, with their state representatives, with their senators, with their congress people, yada yada yada, right? And they have they have a good number of them because they have a lot of people there. Well, I mean, as the census recent census uh, showed, you know, they lost people. They lost a lot of people who moved out of state. And other blue states saw the same thing because they were run so poorly. And what do we see? Well, now red states have more representation on the national level. And that's a good thing, which is why, again, I'm going to hit home again. I really think people should move out of California. I really think anyone who wanted this recall to work, or at least was on the fence, should pack up their bags and head east. Head to those purple states, flip them red, or, or just go to Texas. I don't care. Take away their national power and let it go. Take away California's national power and let it crumble. All right, leave the people there who want what's happening to continue to happen. Leave them to their own devices. That's all I can say. Uh, this concludes our Wednesday update for today. We will see you on our main. We will see you on our main show on Friday. Uh, we hope you're staying safe. I'm feeling a lot better from COVID, in case you couldn't tell. Although it is a little bit hot in here, in case you couldn't tell again. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, we will catch you another time. Thanks for tuning in.